Hello, it is week 35 of the Road to 100 interviews and I'm very hungry and I just wanted to show you this cookie that I made. I just made one. One is enough because it's, it's really big and I've been thinking about doing that for several weeks now and so I just went ahead and made one. I did have a piece of it yesterday to make sure it wasn't poison. I can share this with you. Um, but here's a, here's a piece. I have a pretty awesome update, and that's that Eric Alper said yes, and he would like to do an interview with me. So knock on wood that we get to do that. He would like to do it on September 19th. So that is potentially my last day for this project. My goal is to find my last person between now and September 19th. So uh, that being said, everybody watching this right now, if you're willing to do an interview with me, please respond and be able to do the interview by September 19th if possible but if somebody replies and says yes I can do an interview with you but not till later I will still take them on I'm not gonna be like no uh because my initial goal when I first started six years ago was to interview as many creative people as possible the first person on my list this week is Kyle Louder and you're probably like oh god Another Days of Our Lives actor. Give it up already. Um, but I think Kyle will be my last one that I ask for a while. But I chose Kyle specifically because he's had many changes in his career. And I think that's really important to show those stories. That you don't have to just stick to one thing. And I think that's just so cool. Because even with his work at Days, he made a change. So he started out as Brady Black. And then several years later came back as Rex Brady. Right now, Kyle works as a news reporter and anchor for a television station in Reno, Nevada. And so that is not Days of Our Lives related. And so I have questions about that career change. Kyle's news station has a segment every week where they try to get a pet adopted. And he recently posted a kitten named Butters. And he was adorable. And it seemed like Kyle might be interested in the kitten. And so that's one of my questions was, was Butters adopted? I need to know. This is valuable information to me, Kyle. Please respond by September 19th. The next person on my list is Frank Warren, and he is the creator of Post Secrets. Someone will write a secret on a postcard and mail it to Frank, and then he posts it on the internet. And you think, why would someone do that? But it's all anonymous, and I think that it's probably therapeutic for a lot of people, not only to like get something off their chest, but to also make something. I have actually been making little cards myself, but they don't have secrets on them. They just have pictures and then they have lines on the back in case someone else would like to write on them. So <laughs> this one is fun. I like this one. I donate a lot of my stuff to the Free Little Art Library downtown at Tap Center for Creativity in London. And someone left this drawing in the donation box. So I took it and then I thought it kind of looked like the Starbucks logo so I put that together and then this part for sure I ordered a waffle and I asked if they could put the syrup in a separate container so that I could pour the syrup on by myself. The last person on my list this week is Dominic from Domchi Designs. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I'm not even going to attempt to say his last name. I feel like my name gets misspelled and mispronounced all the time so I'm just gonna let that sit. <laughs> And he is a water marbling artist, and I had not heard of water marbling until I saw his stuff on Instagram. So he is known for his designs on hats and clothing. He always is posting how he does stuff on Instagram, but it still blows my mind every single time I watch it. I don't understand, and that is why I want to ask him questions. For example, he'll make a design in the water, and then he puts something in it to shrink the image so it'll print better on a hat. And I commented one day, and I was like, how do you do that? What are you doing to shrink the image and he didn't reply but someone else did and they were like magic which is also a valid answer but I would actually like to know like <laughs> what are you doing I decided I would like to try printmaking which is something I did a little bit in high school but only for like a very short time so other than that I've had no instructions I've been doing a little bit of printmaking in between trying to secure interviews and I wouldn't say it's good but I'm learning I'm new at it I, I told my mom I feel like I'm five making like all these little circles but she said it's a new art and you are practicing also, I know these colors don't go well together, but I was wasting a lot of paper, so I just kept printing stuff on top of stuff. And I think, as silly as this is, it's important to have some type of outlet where you can make stuff, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. 